We're gonna move to Lasso Guard. We've been working Lasso Guard, and we'll find our sweeps and submissions for you. Okay, so one sweep that we do from Lasso Guard, whenever somebody is passing for those, we're gonna start this one. Okay, let's just move. He has his right arm committed. I have my feet on the hip. We'll find a very real way of doing this. We have it already. Hip escape. Kick your foot over. It's a very dummy way of going into Lasso Guard for those who are doing it for the first time. If you are regular, you already know your I'm going to pull the top heel back and then kick his armpits or his back muscle. It's the same grip. Jansen has submission here. With the knuckle pinching grip. I'm just going to turn sideways. <coughs> same side foot. Over, he's not fighting back, he's just helping me. This is a very dummy way of going into Lasso Guard. It will not happen in video. Just to recall our lesson. Pull your heel back and then kick the lap. So, heel back, kick. Once you're here, I'm going to stay off. And you could see the difference in our posture versus him all day. This is really good. Okay. One more time. For those who will be doing Lasso Guard for some time, you know how to enter. We have the strategies over this. But new people, sideways, over. It's like Namaste with your feet. Top foot, back, kick, square. This is very good. We're going to find uh, one angle to our sweep that we most commonly miss. Okay. Once he's here, my right foot is not doing anything. I'm keeping it on the back. He's just helping me. He'll be shoving this foot right or left. But for now, I'm removing it from, from the corner. He's moving from the free side towards my head. It's a circular movement towards our head. Now, this foot is not doing anything. I'm going to keep it with me or down. This is not in picture. That's the only thing. When he's moving sideways, stay there. While he's moving, I'm going to pop my knee outside. I'm going to point my knee outside. While he's moving, my knee is outside. Okay. He's moving. My other foot will be free. I'm going to do a namaste. I'm going to do a namaste with my free foot. I'm here. He's moving. Point. Namaste. He's going to keep moving into me. I'm going to keep my face safe. Check. Check. Anything. Could be kapra. Could be... Or it could be bicep. And while he's coming towards me, I'm going to place both the shoulders on the mat. I'm going to use this namaste to kick or pull my heel directly under the elbow and on the mat. So the angle is elbow on the mat for the sweep. Let's go keep moving. It's this angle downwards. So my namaste into the elbow, point it down. Oh. This is the big difference. The angle. So we are getting to the last of that work. He happens to pass. I keep moving, I let him pass. Keep passing towards my head. Common mistake, we miss on the angle. And then he's passing. Like this is tough. Because even if it's a bad base, he still has a base with the elbow. And while you're throwing, he might be posting on the elbow. While you're coming up, that's a fight back. Keeping me down. Which is not a sweep. Go back. So when I point my knee out, keep moving. Elbow. 
this is small. You know this week, very well, for those who have been knowing glass or not, but don't forget the time here. And we struggle, 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 and we happen to miss it on this. Your knee was here, you're gonna point your knee and thumb. Namaste. Let them pass. When they're halfway through, you're gonna square off while you pull your heel to the mat. That's a sweep. Just this much is what is needed to sweep someone. 